वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मा कंपेनियन टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ हाई परफॉर्मेंस थिन लेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी सो लेट्स बिगिन द टॉपिक सो क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ सेपरेशन टेक्निक एंड इट इज यूज्ड फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन प्यूरिफिकेशन एंड सेपरेशन ऑफ कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स फ्रॉम द मिक्सचर एच पी टी एल सी हाई परफॉर्मेंस थिन लेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज एन एडवांस फॉर्म ऑफ टी एल सी विद अ रैपिड सेपरेशन टेक्निक इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द प्लेनर क्रोमेटोग्राफी और द फ्लैट बेड क्रोमेटोग्राफी इट इज़ वन ऑफ द सोफेस्टिकेटेड मेथड बेस्ड ऑन फुल कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ थिन लेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इट इज कंपेरेटिवली मोर सेंसिटिव एंड मोर फास्टर टू रन मोर सैम्पल्स इन अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बाई यूजिंग स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ सैम्पल एच पी टी एल सी बिगेन अराउंड 1975 सेवेंटी फाइव विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ हाई एफिशियंसी कमर्शली प्री कोटेड प्लेट्स विच आर स्मॉलर टेन रेशो टेन सेंटीमीटर एंड और टेन रेशो ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर एंड हैव अ थिनर पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट टू एम एम थिन एंड लेयर ऑफ सॉर्बेंट विथ फाइनर मीन पार्टिकल साइज अराउंड फाइव टू सिक्स मिलीमीटर आई एम सॉरी फाइव टू सिक्स माइक्रोमीटर एंड नैरोअर पार्टिकल साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फोर टू एट माइक्रोमीटर एंड आई डेवलप्ड ओवर शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस थ्री टू सेवन सेंटीमीटर कंपेयर टू द नॉर्मल डी एल सी प्लेट्स अमंग द मॉडर्न एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स एच पी टी एल सी इज अ पावरफुल एनालिटिकल मेथड सुटेबल फॉर क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वान्टिटेटिव एस्टिमेशन बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स हायर थ्रू पुट स्क्रीनिंग सेंसिटिविटी एंड रिलायबिलिटी इन क्वान्टिफिकेशन ऑफ एंडलाइट्स एट नैनोग्राम लेवल इट मीन्स इन एच पी एच पी टी एल सी एज कम्पेयर टू द टी एल सी वी यूज प्री कोटेड प्लेट्स विच आर कंपेरेटिवली स्मॉलर इन साइज thinner in size and have mean uh, finer mean particle size and have narrower particle size distribution and that are developed over a shorter distance as compared to normal tlc plates in the tlc we use uh, plates coated with silica and we coat the plates uh, be- before the uh, starting of the tlc production but in hp tlc we use pre coated plates so as you can see here this is the general diagram for the working of hptlc so first of all sample applicator is used in which the sample is applied over the pre coated plates after that chromatographic development takes place after that uv visible detection takes place uh, in which the sample is detected uh, and these are its rf values are detected and after that tlc scanner is used which scans the components of the plate and after that we use the vision cas software which detects the components of the plates and after that developed the plate shows the graph hptlc chromatogram and the score is shown hptlc plates provide improved resolution shorter analysis time higher detection sensitivity and in situ quantification hptlc is an advanced form of planar chromatography technique used extensively in finger painting of active constituents products and for screening and quantification of herbal drugs phytochemicals and biochemical analysis of adulterants in the formulation so hptlc is a flexible enough it's it is it is flexible enough to separate a wide variety of samples and requires a short analysis time to analyze the complex or the crude sample cleanup so as you can see this is the lab in which the hptlc instruments are placed they are generally clean and these are the series of instruments hptlc uh, development plate chromatographic development and hptlc scanner and the detection screen now what are the advantages of hptlc hptlc is the most simple separation technique it is available today because of its following advantages enormous flexibility parallel separation of many samples with minimal time requirement unsurpassed clarity and simultaneous visual evaluation of all samples and sample components simplified separation preparation simplified sample preparation due to single use of the stationary base and possibility of multiple evaluation of the plate with different parameters because all fractions of the sample are stored on the plate require it requires less mobile phase and sample amount now let us discuss the principle and working of the hptlc hptlc works on separation separation may result due to the adsorption or partition or by both phenomena depending on the nature of the adsorbent depending on the nature of the plates okay so if the plates if in the plates the mobile solvent flows through the capillary action then 
separation occurs and if the mobile fa phase flows through the uh, plate uh, and uh, are partitioned between the uh, liquid phase of the plates between the moisture phase of the plate then partition takes place so the mobile phase solvent flows through the uh, flows through the plate because of the capillary action the components move according to to the affinities towards the adsorbent the components that have more affinity towards the stationary phase travel slower and the components that have lesser affinity towards the plate travel faster now hptlc takes place with high speed capillary flow range of mobile phase there are three main steps first sample to be analyzed to chromatogram level is kept at the volume precisely and suitable position and achieved by the use of suitable instrument second solvent migrates the planned distance in thin layer by capillary action in this process solvent is separated in its component third densitometer is used for scanning separation tracks with light beam in the uv or visible region now let us discuss the procedure of the hptlc instrument first of all prepared samples and standards are applied on the preconditioned and pre-washed chromatographic plates with the help of applicator machine then it is placed in the chromatographic chamber containing the mobile phase and it is allowed to separate. The developed chromatographic plate is read with the detector and the scanner. So this is the basic steps involved in the HPTLC. First of all, selection of the chromatographic plate. Second, sample and standard preparation. Third, layer pre-washing. Fourth, layer preconditioning. Fifth, application of sample and standard. Sixth, chromatographic development. Next, detection of spots after that scanning and after that documentation of the chromatographic plate now how do we uh, select the chromatographic layer it includes the pre-coated plate uh, with the different support materials like different support materials like uh, aluminium layer can be used or aluminium foil layer can be used and glass layer can be used plastic plates can be used and mostly used sorbents are silical gel 60F which is used for separation of basic substances next aluminum oxide gel uh, aluminum oxide uh, sorbent is used for alkaloids and steroid separation cellulose is used for sugar and alkaloid separation RP2, RP8, RP18 these are the standard type of uh, chromatographic plates that are used for non-polar substances fatty acids, carotenoids and cholesterol and um, other important hybrid plates including RPWF 24S which are used for the preservative analgesic phenotyzings and barbiturate separation. Now how <coughs> how are the sample and standard prepared? The good solvent is that in which uh, does not interfere with the component or the plate. Solvent used are methanol, ethyl acetate methanol in the ratio of 1 ratio 1 and chloroform methanol and ammonia in ratio of 90 and 1 and 1% 1 ammonia or 1% acetic acid are used activation of the pre-coated plates for the activation of pre-coated plates freshly opened box of plate do not require activation but the plates are exposed to high humidity or kept on hand, hand for long minute needs to be activated by placing in an oven at 110 to 120 degrees celsius for 30 minutes prior to spotting aluminium sheets should be kept in between two glass plates and placing in oven at 110 to 120 degrees celsius for 15 minutes application of the sample and the standard so for the application of the sample and standard usual concentration range is 0.1 microgram per micro ml above this uh, causes poor separation and automatic apply applicator is used in which nitrogen gas sprays sample and standard from syringe on TLC plates as band. Bandwise application provides better separation and high response to densitometer with sufficiently high concentration of analyte. Pharmaceutical preparation is simply dissolved in a suitable solvent that will solubilize the analyte. And it is critical step of application of the sample and to obtain good resolution for quantification in HPTLC. Sample application techniques depends on the factors like type of the workload, sample matrix and time constraints. 
Now, how do we select the mobile phase? Poor grade of solvent used in mobile phase preparation was found to decrease resolution, RF repro reproducibility, and spot definition. That's why using of three four components in mobile phase should be avoided as it is often difficult to get the reproducible ratios of different components. Now, how do we do the preconditioning or the chamber saturation? Preconditioning or chamber saturation has a pronounced influence or separation profile. Time required for saturation depends on the mobile phase. If plates are introduced in an unsaturated chamber, during the course of development, the solvent evaporates from the plates, mainly at solvent fronts. Hence, it results in the increased RF values. And if the tank is saturated prior to the development, before the development of the chromatograph plate, if the tank or if the chromatographic chamber is saturated, so solvent vapor soon get uniformly distributed throughout the chamber. As soon as the plate is kept in such a saturated chamber, it soon gets preloaded with solvent vapor. Hence, less solvent is required to travel at a particular distance, resulting in lower RF values. Now, what are the types of chromatographic chambers used in the HPTLC? Different types of chambers are used, like twin trough chamber, uh, which uh, which is shown in the upper upper side, rectangular chamber on the lower side, and other than that, V V shaped chamber, V shaped chamber, and sandwich chamber, and horizontal development chamber, and automatic development chamber are also used. The different methods used for the development of Chambers are ascending, descending, two-dimensional, horizontal, multiple overrun, gradient, radical, uh, radial, anti-radial, multimodal, and forced flow planar chromatography. Plates are spotted with the sample air, air dried and placed in the developing chamber. After the development, plate is removed from the chamber and mobile phase is removed under the fume cupboard to avoid contamination of laboratory atmosphere. The plate should be always laid horizontally because when the mobile phase evaporates, the separated components will migrate evenly uh, to the surface where it can be easily detected. Now, drying of the chromatogram should be done in the vacuum desiccator with protection from heat and light. If hand dryer is used, there may be chances of contaminating the plate. Therefore, evaporation of essential uh, volatile oils, if any present in the spot or compound sensitive to oxygen, may get destroyed due to the rise in temperature. Drying of chromatogram should be done in vacuum desiccators with protection from heat and light. Detection and visualiz visualization. Under detection of UV light is the first step and the non-destructive step for detection of any spots, sample spots. Spots of fluorescent compounds can be seen at 254 nanometer, which is a shorter wavelength. And non-UV absorbing compounds being uh, visualized by using 0.1% iodine solution. Means 0.1% iodine solution are sprayed, sprayed over the place and after that it is being visualized in the under UV. If individual component does not respond to UV, then derivatization is needed with visualizing agent. By quenching of the fluorescent due to the UV light 200 to 400 nanometer, detection of separated compounds on the sorbent layer is enhanced. This process is commonly known as fluorescence quenching or visualization at in which visualization of UV at 254 nm takes place. In this instance, after source of excitation is removed, the fluorescence stays for a shorter period. It is longer than 10 seconds but very short lived. Uh, products like anthraglycosides, cumarins, flavonoids, propylphenols, in essential oils, some alkaloid types such as indole, isoquinoline, and quinoline alkaloids, etc., should be detected under 254 nm. Visualization at white light is also done by leaving the, their natural color in the daylight with white light zone containing separated components can be detected now let us discuss the applications of high performance thin layer chromatography it is used for the identification of constituents identification and determination of impurities and quantitative determination of active substances it is one of the most applied methods 
for the analysis of in pharmaceutical industry clinical chemistry forensic chemistry biochemistry cosmetology food and drug analysis and environment analysis and other areas hptlc is used in quality control of pharmaceuticals application and drug analysis in herbal products in fingerprinting analysis in pharmaceuticals the hptlc approach is used in variety of quantitative and qualitative methodological applications including herbal and dietary remedies nutraceuticals and variety of medicines it is used in quality management and purity checks scientific scientific uses include metabolism tests medication screening and forensic application include toxicity trials assessing radiochemical impurities in radio pharmaceuticals and detecting and identifying prescription raw material products and metabolites in biological media these are the references that are used for making that are used for making these slides thank you so much for watching and please do like and subscribe all my videos